just, you know what I'm saying, give space maybe for like a couple months or something. Like, cause I don't know if I can really do this. Like, FTC. Y'all know how I be. What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team stand up. Ooh, boy, I got a special, special, special surprise for baby girl, man. Little does she know. Now, if you guys been sleeping under a rock, man, recently just came back from Boston, flew right into ATL immediately afterwards, bro. But that's not the point, man. I feel like it's a perfect time to hit baby girl because what just happened is that I left her crib because she's getting like some service work done in her house, you know, the typical stuff, the checkup stuff. And I decided to come back to my hotel to work and get some space because it's like, you know, noisy in there. But speaking of that space, man, I thought it would be a brilliant opportunity, bro, to hit her with, listen, baby girl, I mess with you heavy, but I need my space. Now, I told her when I'm done doing my videos, I'm gonna actually end up calling her and either she's gonna come and pick me up here or I just Uber back to her, you know what I'm saying, her crib. So either or, man, this is gonna work out totally in my favor, man, it's a perfect time to do it. But before that, bro, can't need to get in the shower, man. I need to get clean, fresh and stuff, clean, clean, man. It's gonna be risky. This can backfire, man. But hey, bro, YOLO, you only live once. Let's go. All right, flight crew, your boy just got dressed. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm missing something. Well, la, 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 lamb. You know what I'm saying? Polo down. You know what I'm saying? You guys know how I'm coming 2017, man. You check out the little light fit, man. Some, some, some light work, man. But anyway, bro, that's not the point, bro, because somebody's about to get that black. All right, now I just hopped out the shower, got myself together, man, finished my videos that I needed to finish. Now we're about to call baby girl, and I'm going to see whether if she's going to come pick me up at my hotel, if she's ready to go, or if I just Uber back to her crib, and I'm going to end up doing a prank over there. Either or, man, it's about to be lit. I think it might be better low-key if I can find a way to try and see if I can just come home, because I think, like, some of her peoples is there, like her sister, her dad. And I didn't even let them know either. I don't even know if I think I should. I think it should just be 100% raw and just see like the whole family reaction. I'm gonna take a risk, bro, if I end up doing it. But we gonna see what it's going in. I'm like, nope, not the home. I'm gonna FaceTime her. Hey, mommy. Yeah. You can start editing your one of your videos or something productive or live raise or something. Cause we finna um did you already live raise or you yeah, 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 I already did live raise, but I didn't edit all my videos. Don't edit all of it, but like you can start editing one because we finna everybody finna get dressed and then we just gonna come and pick you up. Alright, bet. Alright. Yeah. Dang. All right, so it looks like you guys, I'm gonna have to probably either plan A, do this prank on her, not ASAP, ASAP, because I know we're gonna go back to her house for show or end up going back to my hotel. She's making it known or seem like she wants to come to the hotel first. I think what I should do when she pulls up over here is tell her that if she can come upstairs, I need to like talk to her about something like maybe private about I'll just make it seem like I have like some serious health issue or like some serious like personal matter that she just needs to like come up here because I don't want her to like catch on and be like oh so what you cuz you know from the last prank she's already still a little bit mind twisted from that so this puts me in a tougher position I thought it was gonna be a piece of cake to find that you know what I'm saying location do that junk yet man but with or reg yeah. regardless um we're gonna end up doing it man i don't know if i'm gonna end up having it at night or whenever but i just need a setting i can't i don't want to do it in the car because i don't want to just hold the camera like this it's not gonna make no type of sense so we don't see what we don't do man one eternity later all right flight team just finally got that confirmation man unfortunately man i was charging my camera at the time she called it's about four or five hours later bro baby girl had the serious cleaning up to do in the crib man but anyway she just sent me a text that she's gonna actually uber me out there because apparently the people when she got her oil changed and a whip they put the wrong oil in there, man. So her dad's ended up draining all the oil out for her. So in the meantime, I have to get an Uber. This is the Uber driver. Gotta go. Three minutes, man. Let's hope this prank doesn't go so bad, man. I hope you don't think by you taking me to this restaurant, this is considered a date. I'm just wanted saying, I just wanted you to know because you're still that. taking me on a date, daddy. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yup. It's gonna be a surprise, though. Really? 
All right, flight crew, it is a brand new day. Unfortunately, I could not do what I wanted to do because we actually ended up going on a date and we just never ended up going back home. So it's a brand new day. Baby girl's upstairs getting ready. So I'm gonna pull this off when she comes down and see how I rock, man. The camera's in the hidden area. Let's get it. Mommy. Todd, can you come here, please? Hello, can you hold on one second? All right. Oh, babe, what, what you needed? I just needed to talk to you whenever you was ready. Oh, I mean, I would have, sorry, I had to go because I was looking for something. Were you just doing stuff? I couldn't find my charger, but I just realized that it was right there. I could remember we left the chargers here. Right. And I went over and walked over there because you said I left over there and it wasn't over here. So I'm wondering about how I was trying to look for shit and shit right there. It's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. crazy, so. adjusting to certain things but it's just like now like it's just getting too like overwhelming like if it, it feels like and like honestly like I feel like I just need like my space and I think it's just better to just like 
it's just it's just taking you know what I'm saying a lot of my taking a lot of my time like I just need my space and I think it's just better if we just you know what I'm saying give space maybe for like a couple months or something like cause I don't know if I can really do this like Stop. Don't What's wrong with you? Get off of me. Can you at least talk to me? No. Can you at least talk to me? Yeah. Can you at least talk to me? Get off of me. What's wrong? Because, go ahead, just walk out. Walk out like everybody else. Get off of me. Can you at least talk to me? Get off of You're me. You're not even before. gonna state your opinion. Get off of me before I slap you. You're not nothing. Yes, I am. Can you at least talk to me before? What? What do you want me to say? Like. I'm, not, I'm just saying, at least I put, like, I put in the effort and tried. It's just, like, it's just too much, you know what I'm saying? What's like, too much? What's too much? Yeah. I don't ask you to do nothing. What's too much? It's just, like, coming here and stuff, and it's just, like, adjusting to certain things. I just... Okay, and that's what you're going to have to do. You have a girlfriend now. You're not, you don't just think it's okay for you to just come and be somewhere and then when things get too what you call it, crammed or whatever, you think you need space, you just run away. No, you, we talk and we sit and we work it out and figure out how we can move forward and make everybody feel comfortable. You don't just run away from stuff. It's not running away. It's you are being... running away. Where are you going to go? Back home. What's at home? Nothing. Exactly. Like, what's there? I mean, my home. Like, Who going to talk to you when you feel lonely? Who won't comfort you and tell you you're the best person in the world when you feel like Who gonna cook and clean for you? Even though I don't cook, I can still cook and try. Who gonna cook and clean for you? I mean, nobody. Who gonna hold you down? I mean, nobody. Exactly. To... So what are you talking about? Exactly. Nothing. So what we're gonna do is... You finna um we finna fold up these blankets, fix these pillows, finna um put on our um you wearing this out to eat. Yeah, babe. Like okay, and we finna go out okay, but we finna go out we finna go out to eat. But I already got my listen, I, I already that, got no, my flight. I okay, have, that's fine. I'm, I'm I will call to, the operator and cancel it. That's fine. No, I'm leaving this evening. You're like not I already changed my I already changed my flight and I'm leaving this evening. How? Because I did it last night. How you gonna leave with no legs? I have my legs right here. I know, but they're finna be gone in a minute, so how are you gonna leave with no legs? I'm sorry. Listen, I think it's better just to get space. That's why I'm pranking your ass. <laughs> Prank that ass. Mm, mm, mm. Got that ass. Uh, you really shouldn't do. You really shouldn't. You, but I'm just saying, you really shouldn't do pranks like that. Why not? So it's okay for you to do pranks like that over the phone. It's okay for you to okay, do pranks like my, that with your dad. My, my situation was different. No, your situation definitely was not different. It was you different. You salty because I got that. Uh, it's okay. It happens to the best. <laughs> got that. Uh, Come on, you too tall. Got that. Uh, too tall. Uh huh. I don't let that phase me though. No. Grab onto the shoulder, you know. Don't kill me. No. <laughs> hey, I'll guys. Never do that again. I mean, what I do? Because All the times you pray me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but listen, hoes and thoughts and tricks. Oh, Kamani, why are you dropping me? I, I ain't drop you. I got my hands in my pocket. I ain't dropping you. I'm not. I'm not weak. I'm strong. You know what I'm saying? I got the Hulk muscles. But you don't gotta lie. I'm like a nice weak man. I guess I gotta accept it. <laughs> Go on to you, it's funny. What you about to say? I said, listen, hoes, thoughts, and tricks. We drop in the big old booty video November the 6th. November the 6th. So, all of my stretch mark booties, my black booties, my white booties, my missing booties, my back booties, y'all get ready for this.